Now, Republicans have been breaking records on obstruction. Uh, it's not a coincidence, it's a plan, as I'm about to show you. Uh, but let me give you a sense of their obstruction. This Congress has broken a record so far. In the first six months, they've passed only 15 bills. That is the lowest amount of bills since they started keeping records in the 1940s. Let me show you a chart that gives you a sense of how bad it is. Uh, you see all those other bars in the 1970s, uh, the 93rd Congress, 94th, 95th Congress. They're actually doing something. They're putting together uh, bills and passing them, trying to do their job. And as you can see, it gets, starts to get a little lower, and then in the Obama years, obviously, significantly lower. And in fact, the we're now in the 113th Congress. That's the record-breaking uh, do-nothing Congress. In the 112th Congress, we passed eight more bills in the first six months, and in the 111th Congress, we passed 19 more bills in the first six months. So those weren't great years either, but now it's totally out of control. Now, out of the 15 bills, I love this part, uh, how many of them have to do with serious matters? Well, two. So we reauthorized the Violence Against Women Act, but that wasn't even easy, okay? That took a while, the Republicans fought back against that, that should be a no-brainer. That used to sail through Congress. All right, fine. We finally got that. Congratulations. That's just the reauthorization. And then we got disaster relief for Hurricane Sandy victims. That was hard. Like, remember, the Republicans fought that. How is that hard? Disaster relief in the old days was you pass it like that. People are hurting. You need to get them the money, the relief, etc. The Republicans are like, I don't know, man. How bad are they hurt? Remember the two famous, the Oklahoma senators who wanted to vote no, and then a tornado comes through Oklahoma, and they're like, disaster relief, give me disaster relief, please, right away, right away, right? So they fought them on that. So, But those are the only two substantive things they've done in the last six months. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> what are some of the other examples? They awarded con a congressional uh, gold medal. Ooh, wow, getting some work done. And then my favorite is, passed a measure regarding commemor commemorative coins. <laughs> awesome. Let me give you more detail on that, because I looked it up. I was like, really? So here's a, a quote uh, from Tom Hartman that explains what it was. It was about the size of the precious metal blank that will be used in the production of National Baseball Hall of Fame commemorative coins. Okay, great, we're getting some work done. Fantastic. Unbelievable, right? But again, this is not a coincidence. So Tom Hartman wrote a great article about this. And he explained what happened back in 2009, and we covered this back in the day. Uh, we covered it because it's, the press already knows about it. It was a secret meeting at the time, January 20th of 2009. President Obama had just been sworn in. People are at the inaugural balls, etc. The Republicans get together. Who were they? They were uh, Representative Eric Cantor, and you'll recognize a lot of these names. Uh, Paul Ryan, Kevin McCarthy, Pete Sessions, Jeb Hanserling, Pete Hoekstra, Dan Lundgren. I mean, who's who? of uh, House Republican obstructionists, and then in the Senate as well, DeMint, Kyle, Coburn, Ensign, Corker, and then Frank Luntz, the Republican strategist, is the one who organized it, and actually Newt Gingrich was also there. So they get together and the decision they make is, we will block everything. By hook or by crook, we will slow this thing down so that Obama can get as little accomplished as possible. We're not going to play fair filibuster as much as humanly possible. And they did. They broke records on filibusters. We've shown you that in the past. Now they're breaking records on inaction. They say, just say, well, I'm, not I'm in the House. I control the House. I'm not going to do anything. But here's the amazing part. Back in 2009, Pete Sessions, who was in that meeting, actually explained exactly what they were doing to the press in about March of, of that year. He said, quote, Taliban insurgency, we understand perhaps a little bit more because of the Taliban. So the insurgency is the way we went about systematically understanding how to disrupt and change a person's entire processes. Remember, he's talking about the Republican meeting. He continues. And these Taliban is an example of how you go about to change a person from their messaging to their operations to their frontline message. And we need to understand that insurgency may be required when dealing with the other side. So they got together and had a meeting about how they're going to be more like the Taliban. Here is the Republican congressman admitting it, saying we're going to do an insurgency. We're going to fight Obama in every way, shape, or form, whether it's his judicial nominees, which they did. Today, at this late juncture, Senator Reid, again considering changing the filibuster rules. When are you going to get it, you schmuck? 
They had a meeting five years ago. And they said they were going to block every possible nominee you had, whether it was judicial or it was appointed, and they were going to try to block every bill you had. But the whole time, while Rome has been burning, Reed has been fiddling. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Re Republicans, don't do it again. And if you do it again, I might change the filibuster rules. Yes, they're trying to block you, you schmuck. They even admitted it in the press. So that's what's happening. That's why right now there's absolutely nothing being done in Congress. And the only bills we have a prayer of passing are either incredibly obvious bills like the Violence Against Women Act and Hurricane Relief, or wow, we might get immigration reform because that would actually help Republicans tremendously in the next couple of elections. And even that immigration reform will be draconian and it will make indentured servitude look like child's play. That's our only hope because of the strategy. And by the way, another huge problem, the press will not point it out. Everything is called even. Well, Obama can't get the Republicans to part co coordinate with him and participate with him and pass things. The guys had a meeting where they declared themselves the American Taliban <laughs> to do an insurgency against Obama. Mitch McConnell famously said it on the record and said our, his number one goal was not to help the United States of America, but was to destroy the Obama presidency. That was in the first term. And they're doing the same exact thing this time around. And the press constantly calls it even. It ain't even. Obama's got 100 faults. I talk about it every day on this show. But the Republicans have no intention of legislating and they have no intention of doing anything to help the American people. That is not their concern. Remember those guys who ran on jobs, jobs, jobs? How many jobs bills have they proposed, let alone passed? None, because they don't give a damn about you. All they care about is their own political career and making sure that they ruin the Democrats. That's what the Republican Party is about. As frustrated as we get with the Democrats and the Obama administration, the Republican Party is the American Taliban by their own admission.